Okay, I want to show you a magic trick using the browser session history. Uh, also, there are people doing roadworks outside, so if you hear a lot of noise, that's what that is. Okay, first up, I am on 1.html. We have one entry in session history, and it's 1.html. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to location.href, and I'm going to go to 2.html. There we go. So what this has done is we're going to create a new item in the session history. Uh, the URL is 2.html and we've loaded the document to uh, .html. Brilliant. All right, slightly different. This time I am going to uh, navigate to hash foo. Now this is a hash change navigation, so it doesn't actually do a reload from the network. So what it does now is a, a, it's, you know, we've got a third session history entry. Uh, it's 2.html slash uh, hash foo. Uh, but and what I'm going to do here is merge these cells because it's using the same document. So if I click back and forward, just the URL bar change is not the document. We can prove this uh, by spelling document correctly, document body dot append uh, math dot random. There we go. So now we've got a random number there. If I click back, click forward, it stays there, even though this was uh, inserted with JavaScript. All right, what I'm going to do now, history dot push state. Uh, and I'm just going to use a, an object there, empty string. But what I'm going to do is change the URL to 3.html. And we can see that that's happened up there. But this is push state, so it doesn't change the document again. So here we go. This is a 4, and this is going to be a 3.html. Uh, it's the URL. But again, we are using the same documents. So I'm going to merge those cells. Cool. I would say, uh, sort of forgot to mention this, this document is now gone. Uh, this version of Chrome that I'm using here doesn't support the BF cache, so when you navigate away from a document, it's unloaded. Uh, we will see cases where that's different uh, in a moment. All right, so we've got these these uh, free history entries. I can go back and forward between them, uh, and nothing changes. The, the document stays the same. Uh, if I go all the way back to one, it's going to reload that from the network. And I go forward again, it's going to reload that from the network because, like I said, no BF cache here it's going to discard the document and reload it. But again, I go forward twice, it doesn't go to the network. All right, I've, I've not got to the magic yet. The magic is coming soon, I promise. All right, here we go. So this is uh, 4.html I'm gonna to navigate to. There we go. So that's just a plain old navigation. We've seen, seen that many times before. We're on step five. The URL is 4.html. Uh, and this was a, a proper document navigation, so we're there. Uh, and also, you know, this has been collected. So here's an interesting question. What's going to happen when I press back now? What's going to load in here? Well, the answer, easy to find out, press the back button, page three. So what happens is browser goes back, it sees, oh, this, this URL uh, here is 3.html, so it loads that document. But it loads it for all of these history entries because they share a document. So now if I click back again, the URL now says 2.html, but we're still on page three. Uh, and back again, we're still on page three, forward and forward, there, there we go. Uh, and we now have discarded that document. So in browsers that have a BF cache, which does include some versions of Chrome, you will see a different behavior there. So let's go back to uh, where we were uh, before. So, so in this case, uh, we've got 4.html, and but in, in this case, we've got a, uh, a browser with a BF cache. So it still has 2.html in its memory. So this is Firefox. In the same situation as before, we're on 4.html, and if I click back, we're on 2.html, even though the URL bar says 3.html. So difference of behavior there uh, between the two browsers. There we go. We're not at the magic yet. The magic is coming. <laughs> I promise. Okay, so where are we at now? Uh, this is back in Chrome, so we have uh, 3.html in here now, and this is null don't have a document there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this history entry here. Uh, so uh, that would be here. Yes, so it's 2.html hash foo. That's where we're at, we're at this history entry. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do location, which I can never spell properly, uh, replace. And I'm going to replace it with 5.html. There we go, we're on page five now. So what this has done here is I'm going to have to unmerge these cells. Uh, so in here is going to be our 5.html document. Our URL is now displaying 
5.html, uh, and these documents have gone away. So now if I press forward, we're on page three, and now if I press back, we're on page five, and now if I press back again, we're on two. And that kind of all seems like you might expect. But here is the weird thing that we've created. These uh, entries two, three, and four were sharing a document before. They no longer are because we've replaced this one. However, two and four are still sharing a document slot in memory. And I'll prove that to you. What I'm going to do, uh, let's go uh, document.body uh, append random. All right, so now that's zero, three, four. And now if I go forward two items in history, so that's our next item, this is two items forward, nothing happens. We are now on this entry, but what happened is we, we went back, it loaded 2.html, uh, that became null, but because these two share a document slot, they're both on 2.html now. So the same will happen again, if I go back two entries, nothing happens because we're just going between 2.html and 2.html. It's literally the same document. This is even more obvious in browsers that have a BF cache. So back in Firefox, as we saw before, uh, from, uh, so in, in the case of Firefox, where were we at? So uh, something like this. Uh, yes, this is, this is where we were. So 2.html is in those three document slots. Uh, four is there, so back to here. So now we're on uh, this position. I'm going to do location dot uh, replace. This will be five dot html. Let's actually type what I'm saying. There we go. So now, uh, what I would expect to happen, because they they are still using the same document, we are now in a position like this, and we'll be able to see that if we go forward page two, go back, page five, we go back again, page two. But are these exactly the same document? Well, let's find out. So I'm going to do document.body.append math.random. And there we go. We've got a thing that ends in 607. I go forward to page five. I go forward again. And we are back here to the same document that has that same random number. So we've created a situation where we have a uh, five steps in session history where two of them are using the same document, but the one in between is using a completely different document. And that's the magic trick.